Alrighty guys, I'm back. Sorry I had to take last week off. No videos. Of course we went perfect. Um, just really, really quick. 20 seconds worth of um, basically showing my credibility here. Plus 600 on college football. A Baylor alternative spread. K-State, Washington State, Texas Clemson, Texas Tech, Oklahoma. Plus 598. Look at those check marks. So went perfect on college football and our big parlay. Good on NFL. Uh, we ended up going with Eagles Bengals money line parlay at plus one hundred three. Hit that. Hammered Kansas City live in the Chargers game, both on the money line at plus one fifty four and an alternative spread of minus two and a half at minus one fourteen odds. Did really well there. Made a bunch of money there. Took the Niners last night. No brainer. So we're doing really well. Uh, of course, a perfect weekend when all my picks are correct, and I don't have the videos out. Funny how things work. Regardless, that's not that's not why you guys are here. We are here because everyone wants to have a nice Thanksgiving to where they win money and they don't have to put on a fake smile at the dinner table. Can you imagine that? Sitting around the table with a bunch of your family members or friends, depending on how you celebrate Thanksgiving, you lost $500 because of an unbelievable bad beat at the end of the game. And then the whole rest of the night, the whole rest of the party, you sit there sipping your beer, trying to sedate yourself with a fake smile because you just can't stand that you just lost money on Thanksgiving. You know what? We're going to avoid that. I got the right parlay, guys. So here we go. Let's just get into it. I try to keep my videos on this channel short. I try to not bore you guys but not talk your ear off forever. I try to just get right to the right to the point. Sometimes I don't explain games to the fullest detail, because I'm just wasting your time. You, just, you you guys are here because you just want the picks. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Hit like on this video after I give my picks, if you agree. If you don't agree, you don't have to hit the like button. Maybe just leave me a comment below saying which one of my picks you think I got wrong. Here we go. Love the Bills in this spot. Love the Bills. Lions have a key player out on defense. The Bills just played at this stadium. They're comfortable there. And you know what, guys? The Lions are finally doing enough to where nobody is going to come in soft on them. Won three in a row, have a fantastic coach. They're emotionally committed and buying into this team. That is dangerous, and I think the Bills know that, and I think the Bills are going to give an A-plus effort. I think you're going to get a full effort from the Bills because the Lions have won three in a row. Bad spot for the Lions. I see a blowout coming. We're still not going to touch the nine and a half. We're going to take alternative five and a half. We just need the Bills to win by six. You could take six and a half if you want. You could take seven if you want. You could take three if you want. You know, you could be even more safe. Just take Bills just to win by a field goal. You could just take Bills money line and have a, a smaller payout. You can adjust my picks if you want to. I'm taking five and a half. Win by six or more. I think they're going to hit. The Cowboys game, this is the toughest game to pick because I just feel like it's a coin flip of how the game's going to go in terms of huge blowout or maybe even straight up upset. I'm really not sure there's going to be any in between. If the Giants come to play, they might win. Divisional game, Cowboys coming off an unbelievable win where, yes, they played good, but that was just so bad from the Vikings that I think the Cowboys are getting a little too much credit here. The line seems a little fishy, but then on the other side of things, that defense, a horrible Daniel Jones, I don't know. This one's weird. This is either like Cowboys with another 20-24 point win, or it's going to come down to who has the ball last type of a game. So we're going to go alternative spread with the Cowboys at home plus eight and a half. Yes, I know. Crazy. It's minus 2,500. Is it even worth throwing in the parlay? I don't know. It boosts our payout just a little bit. But it's totally safe. Even if the Giants come to play in Dallas and they pull this thing out, it's probably a field goal. Even if this thing miraculously goes to overtime, the most you could win by it is, is you know, six points. So Cowboys at plus eight and a half at home is beyond safe. We're good. And the third game, the Vikings and the Patriots, both teams looked horrible last week. Patriots looked probably worse. Jets team is not good. I'm sorry. Yes, they've had a good season. Um, they're just not good. And the Patriots at home get bailed out by a special teams play. You score 10 points. Look, we're not going to eat the full line with the Vikings here. Again, we're going to go 
beyond conservative. This is where you guys can adjust it on your own. If you want to be more aggressive with this particular game and you just want to like go Vikings money line, go for it. You'll have a nicer payout. I'm personally going to go beyond conservative. I don't want to have a fake smile at the dinner table because I lost $500. I'm taking the Vikings alternative spread plus 11 and a half. Yes. You can go eight and a half if you want. You can go three and a half so you have a field goal in your back pocket. Whatever you want to do if you're confident in the Vikings. I'm taking 11 and a half to be beyond conservative. At home, after that embarrassing loss, maybe they do end up losing this game, but 11 and a half? Absolutely covering that. So that's what we're looking at. Bills minus five and a half to win by six or more. Vikings pretty much just to keep, you know, either win the game or stay within single digits. And then the Cowboys, to at least not lose by more than a full touchdown. That's totally going to hit, and it's at minus 139 odds. So you guys aren't... Look, we're not looking at a world record payout here. Let me build it right now. I'll give you the exact odds. Let me just add this Viking spread in. Here's the Vikings. Plus 11.5, and, and I'm tempted to go 8.5 with the Vikings. Even if the Patriots win that thing, it's not going to be by more than a field goal. Even if you go the most conservative route, Bills 5.5, Cowboys 8.5, Minnesota Vikings 11.5. It's at minus 148 odds. If you guys put $500 down, you'll win 340 okay? Not the biggest payout. You're not going to double your money. You're not going to make $10,000 off of this. But it's beyond conservative. It's going to hit. And you don't have to have a fake smile at the Thanksgiving Day table. You guys let me know what you think. I don't know how this doesn't hit. Again, for the last time, Bills minus 5.5, Cowboys plus 8.5, Minnesota Vikings plus 11.5. Beyond conservative for a nice chunk of money. 500 bucks, win 340, move on to the full weekend. Life is good. You're still happy, feeling good. Everyone can enjoy their holiday. If you appreciate this parlay that I'm giving you, this these words of advice to, to not get too risky so you have to have a pouty face at Thanksgiving, hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button on this video so more people see this. I want people to take this and to win money and to have a good holiday. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll have a couple more videos coming out here. Maybe with the, there's a lot of games on Friday with college. We'll certainly be getting involved with the weekend. So again, make sure you subscribe. I don't know when the videos are going to come out, so you want to get notified. When they do, they might be right at the buzzer right before some games fire up. So that's all I got, guys. Good luck this Thanksgiving. See you in the next video.